Podcast. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be installing Vauxhall Corsa D door handles onto the Vauxhall Corsa. It's just a normal Corsa. These can go on VXRs or an SXI or just any normal standard Corsa. It doesn't matter which type you have but today I'm going to be installing them. I used to have basic black ones and the car is silver lightning blue, but it didn't really match the color very well. So I'm changing that today, as I want the handles to be color coded with the car. I did wrap these in another video, you can check it out here. And basically today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to take the old ones off and put the new ones in. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So you wanna take the door panel off so you can get to the door handle on the outside, which is this black one just here, so we can get rid of that. So you wanna take this out from here, on the left, take it out, and then you want to take this door panel off. So you want to unclip this, guys, so that you can get to the screws behind. You also want to flick this up, the window switch, and then you want to disconnect it here, so it looks like that. And then you can see the screws you need to take out there, and then with a T20 to get the screws up. One just behind the door handle, one underneath the door panel, and just where the door lock is, you want to unscrew the last one here. And once you've taken them all out, you can just pull the panel off just like that now the car should look like this and you want to take these out just get a flathead poke it in from behind to take these clips out should be four but sometimes it gets stuck in the panel all you do now is just peel this off once you've done the interior car door should look like this So now that the door panel is now off, we can now move on to taking the handle off. Make sure the handle is pulled out towards you. 20 torque and loosen up this screw here. You just need to keep going until it slides out like that. It won't obviously be as easy as that, but you just keep going and then give it quite a bit of a pull and it should just come out. So we can put that away now. Then grab this really easily, pull it towards you and it's out. And there's the old carbon fiber ones we wrapped in another video. These are the new ones. I had to get these painted as well because I couldn't find anyone that sold these. So these are color coded silver lining blue of a 163. And that's what we're going to be installing. So the first bit you want to do, you want to remove that carbon fiber cap off of there, off the back end so you can add the new one. So all you do is get a small flathead screwdriver, pry it and it should just pop off. Just like that. And then you're ready to put on the new one. All you do, you want to get the door handle itself first, slot it in there, just like that, and make sure that is in properly as well. You want to pull the handle out once you've got it in place, and then put in the little piece itself. Tighten it back up from that little screw, which will tighten this up, and then it should be working fine. So if we test it, it should work. Like that. There we have a color coded Vauxhall Corsa D door handle, which used to be this carbon fiber one here. And personally, I think the new color coded one looks a lot smoother. It feels smoother. This just started wearing and tearing. Originally, it was just this horrible black color behind, and it was just really rough. It was smooth at one point, and then all the paint just started peeling off and it looked really crap and it didn't look nice. So I've got this one on now and it just looks so much better than what it did before. So all you need to do now is put the door panel back on and the Corsa is done. guys 
so thanks for watching this video do let me know your opinions down below on these new handles should i have kept the old ones with the carbon fiber or did it look better with the new color coded ones let me know your opinions down below if you have any questions about today's video comment it down below and i'll try my best to get back to you and if you have any video suggestions comment it down below no matter what it is and i'll try my best to make it happen thanks for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one